Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is to Nerds the Human, and welcome back to our Rome Remastered Rebels campaign. And you join us here in the heel of Italy, where our armies are ready to pounce on the Bruti. I, I say armies, to be honest, we only have this little army here, but I suspect it will be enough to go and cause them a few little problems. And indeed, you might well notice that we didn't actually have Salona at the end of the last episode. Indeed, we did not, but it was only a general, so I have uh, dealt with that. In the meantime, we are basically on the very next turn at this point. We do have just a little bit of money in the kitty, which is very nice indeed. I've got myself a port over here in the towns of Sparta, Corinth. Spent a bit of money in Cadonia just to make sure we can get the port there going forward. Indeed, we finally have money. We might as well try and invest it so that we continue to do so. I've taken my two forces over here. We're smashing them together into Larissa to hopefully deal with that problem. And on the plus side, there are yet more and more generals coming out, particularly stern, angry looking generals like good old Solomon here. And we like the old uh, the biblical names, so he should be a good and I suspect. Yes, we're, we're getting those turned out every turn, which is good news for us because the more generals with the more money means we start to get lovely armies like this. With good old Abraham here, who is on his way to take out some Pontics, who, um, to be honest, are looking just a bit split up and depleted at this point. Um, as for, oh yeah, we have this force over here. As for the other Pontic settlements, oh, they're not going to be happy for very long, are they? No, because Sinope is about to fall to the rebels. And what's the main problem with Sinope, you say? Well, it normally rebels all the ruddy time if you're not a Pontic. Of course, with the rebels. So that suits us down to the ground. As for the eastern part of the world, what was happening here last time, I don't even know to say. Um, it's been a few weeks since the last episode, of course, a few bits of family business to deal with. Uh, we will start trickling the episodes back out, though, in, uh, in a few weeks. I'm sure we'll be back to the usual schedule. But for now, but for now, yes, we're going to focus on the Rebels campaign here. We want to get this one finished up because I reckon... I reckon we can smash Italy in the next few episodes. As for Tarsus over here, well, well, we did take care of this in the uh, in the in between episodes. Actually, there was a little army of Eastern infantry, and as you might imagine, a couple of spear militia at the uh, or spear hoplite militia. Anyway, I'm saying words; they're not really making any sense. Militia hoplites, they uh, they managed to hold the gate in a lovely V formation, nice and easily. Siege of Antioch has been lifted, so we've just sent our army over to Palmyra. And yes, much the same over here with Sousa. Better go and uh, put that one under siege. That will be ours before too long. And, you know, I think Silesia will probably be completely fine, of course. This part of the world, yeah, horse archers. Very nice indeed. Our first couple Persian cities is uh, going to add a bit more flavour to our empire. As well as, yeah, the Pontic settlements. Got the Pontic heavy cav. Which, uh, well, they've only got the light cap here, but um, they're good. We also get archers, I think, from Pontus, certainly from Armenia. Anyway, over in uh, over in Italy, there's a bit of business to take care of because, yes, uh, we are being somewhat put under siege by the Gauls and the Brutii and uh, the Scipii and pretty much everyone, to be honest. But um, I think it's okay. Uh, we're not actually what we're with the Senate, of course. They are neutral. And uh, up the north, our Briton army has finally arrived. Mediolanum will soon fall. Marvellous. And uh, they killed a few of us. Obviously, they killed a load of the druids. They always do that. Ultra Resolve still does silly things like that, where um, I've got mass overwhelming power, and uh, my kind of units are going to stand at the back. Obviously, die for no good reason. Oh, well. Mediolanum is ours. I'm going to press merge. I'm going to complain about the little pop up over here. And I think Confoire can move on to the next town. And by that, we probably just mean the bridge over here, actually, don't we? I think we do. So we'll move him there. He'll get uh, absolutely zero monies from that. But uh, it does mean we can actually send our armies out. Yeah, let's just put them onto the bridge there. And we'll see if they want to come to us. I'm not sure we could even win because this is a terrible force. But it's sheer numbers. And it might just be enough to do something. Um, if we have the opportunity to take Batavian, we will. But more than anything else, we're just... Uh, it's by in time while well, the rest of our armies get into position. Thessalonica has a small reinforcement force that's arrived from Byzantium. And of course, the chariot army is slowly making its way. They'll obviously shift along to Apollonia in time. And from there, we can launch our assault on Italy. 
did notice Syracuse was rebelling, but um, sadly it's not quite flipped over to us. And Carthage and Thapsis, they're looking okay, but um, yeah, we might have a few bits of problem here, actually. The Numidians are turning up to take us on. So maybe we want to send our forces back up north to deal with that. I'm just going to do a bit of merging because, to be honest, I probably probably am best off doing that. So can't quite make it to the bridge. That is most unfortunate. But um, if we face them in the field, I think we'll have enough to deal with them. I hope so anyway, because otherwise the army is very much dead. But um, hey-ho, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played, so I'll probably start making tons of really stupid decisions. Anyhow, as for all of this, for Dimidi, we should probably just, yeah, get around there to support. I'm not sure I fancy this army to do anything in the open field. They've got just little missiles, but honestly, we have nothing ourselves. So yeah, I don't mind defending the city, but stand out to the field. No, 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 no. That doesn't look like a very good idea. I do have a load of boats, which, to be honest, probably better off disbanding, but I've made my commitment, and I'm going to stick with it at this point, damn it. Anyway, I think that's largely what we need to do for here and now. Of course, yeah, we do still have Egypt floating around, but we're largely fairly safe from them. And yes, of course, Petra does have itself a nice little force, which might just find a moment to poke around and stab someone in the back. We'll see about that, actually. We might well find that opportunity in the coming terms. Terms? Turns. Yes, we'll put him back over in that direction. That was an interesting bit of scouting, but yeah, maybe we'll send him round to do the little loop. Maybe we'll just go for Demartha. I don't know. That's Bostratovis. Demartha's down here. But either way, yeah, this is largely what we need to do here for today. So uh, we'll see what moves the AI makes on the end turn. A new dawn, a new day, and indeed a heady day at that, because we still have money, ladies and gentlemen, despite me spending 10,000 last turn. And more importantly, Croton is under siege, and we have ourselves a spine side to finish the job. Should make things nice and simple. So, only 42 losses. I'll happily take that and massacre the population. And with that, a simple one-turn pounce on Croton. Oh yes, things are looking mightily mightily grey down this part of the world and don't we just love it now further up north things are uh, continuing to look a little bit dicey if i'm honest um i forgot to send some random rebels around last time but uh we'll, we'll just send them in this direction maybe they'll help out in time so just uh well it wasn't a siege but now it's back to medio Larnum. honestly if the uh, the girls want to waste their time they are welcome to I, uh, what do I want to do? I might well go and take Batavium, you know. Can I do it with these forces? I might not be able to, actually. But, um, you know what? It's probably worth the effort, isn't it? Maybe not. It's probably best that I stand the bridge trying to defend against these guys for the time being. Although, 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 wouldn't mind getting some of these hoplites to join up, actually. So we can get ourselves just over to here. And now we can send, yeah, a lot more of these forces to come and help. Let's box it up with some proper actual uh, hoplites. Well, there's your hoplites. And hopefully they'll be able to do something useful. How lovely. So we'll send these guys to assist. And we'll just fill up the ranks. And there are no mercs, unfortunately. Hey-ho, we'll, uh, we won't worry about any of that nonsense. So uh, over here we uh, don't have any population, do we? That was a slight... Uh, Slight mistake on my part. But uh, yeah, we're slowly trickling some forces from this part of the world. It's given us a big bucket of money, by the way, as we just uh, estimated Croton. So that should fund our wars for the next few turns, I would think. As for Croton itself, what's it look like when it hasn't got a port, which is absolutely ludicrous? For some reason, we smashed up the market when we took the town. Not entirely sure why, but there we go. Now, the cavalry stables... Those can be useful to us, so we might well keep them. Oh, we got Greek Cav, have we? Oh, yes, of course, we've taken some... Uh, well, it's gone from Macedonian, actually, rather than Greek, which is interesting. But I suppose I'll take some Greek Cav just to uh, yeah, just to keep things ticking over. Nice to be able to mop up some Romans when they're running away, isn't it? So as for the rest of this, the peasants, surprisingly, have been able to wander off in this direction. Uh, the Thracians have royally sodded off once again. They're probably hiding in the trees, ready to kill me in a moment. 
they're not, which is surprising. But I am going to put down a watchtower. My first officially laid down rebel watchtower. Not the best position in the world, but um, it does give me a little bit better sight into uh, the coastline here on the Black Sea, which is probably for the best. As for, uh, here are my good friends. They finally want to come and do battle. No, they don't. Well, we'll just make sure we mop up these. I'll, um, I'll get on with that battle off screen in a minute or two. Um, yeah, Tars is back under siege. Antioch back under siege. But more importantly, Palmyra is ready to be taken, as is Sousa. So I think it probably makes sense to head into here, doesn't it? Yes, let's head into Palmyra, because we could do with a good old battle, I think. And this one has got a little bit more meat on the bone. So the faction heir, good old Antheon Soter, and he's going to go down. We've got ourselves a five experienced horse archer general at this point, looking very solid. About eight units of archers. Oh, this should be a lovely, lovely slaughter. And let the slaughter begin. Arrows ahoy. And wow, that was uh, just the first volley there. They've been absolutely slaughtered, as you might well imagine. So, um, yes, this uh, <laughs> this is a particularly fair fight, but it's a fun fight. And that's probably the main thing at this point in time. So you guys head forward. Start showering the next unit with more. <laughs> yeah, the general's got the idea. Best to run away, I would suggest, my good sir. So... What are we going to do from here? Well, this should hopefully free up our army just to uh, deal with the few little slated forces in this part of the world. I think, actually, their army, their, their, their whole empire, must be largely destroyed at this point. It probably is, you know. Um, I haven't quite considered just how near death they are, but I think Bostra... Is it after this they just got Bostra? They might well do. Hey, well, let's start moving a couple men forward. Apparently, you want to bring your ram, one of you. Oh, well, we'll um, I'll figure out what I'm doing. And we'll get set up for the old shooting. As the little wangling game commences, then they're going to run into a big pile of archers, a big pile of infantry, and I don't think they're going to last all that long. You just make sure you get around the back, because that's the most important part of this old trap here. And that will be absolutely marvellous. I think the archers have given up on shooting, most of them anyway, which is probably for the best. Now uh, he's going down, which is great. And I think, I think they still have Hatra. Did I take that? I don't even remember anymore. They might have Hatra, but I think they're pretty much down to Bostra, Hatra, and uh, this. So while the Sunday Siege for a little while looked almost okay on this particular campaign, to be honest, yeah, their number's pretty much up. And with that, Palmyra falls, and indeed, I think it is just Bostra and Hatra that remain. Now, how many people are there? Not all that many. To be honest, I'm probably better off occupying on this occasion. I've got some money in the kitty, and I'd probably rather just make sure I can retrain some of my units. So what do we have here? If you want Eastern Infantry, that's fair enough. We'll, uh, well, to be honest, we can probably just merge these, but we'll just take a turn to settle down over here. So this army, I guess, what's their job mainly? Uh, I don't know. We do need to go deal with Egypt, but uh, to be honest, I kind of liked the idea of marching around here and getting a little sneak attack in. But um, that never really seems to work. I'll give it a go anyway. You can wander over in this part of the world, which is uh, always meta. He's meant to have a merchant. That's not going to end well for him because my merchants automatically lose every single one of the little buy-ups that they attempt. So we uh, won't worry about any of that. We'll get our scout back over here. And oh, we have a huge pile of things that I frankly don't care about at all. Um, Egypt are being a little bit tentative, to be honest. It's probably for the better, but um, yeah, it's a bit curious. I suppose what I should, probably should be doing, I should probably go and have uh, Sousa over here, take that out, which uh, to be fair I can do right now, so perhaps I will do just that. 150? Ridiculous. Anyhow, that one is going to be a massacre. And with that done, actually who's got this? To Martha, that is apparently Parthian, but... Um, who knows, maybe it's not these days. Anyway, with this all taken care of, what I could probably be doing at this point, firstly, send you down to Demartha just to make sure we have some eyes on the area. But yeah, this army can over come over here and deal with Hatra. The Palmyra army, that can probably come down and... Is it better for you to deal with Bostra or this army to go and deal with Bostra? Probably this force is the best plan for it. We'll buy their time with Egypt. Okay, with that... 
being dealt with like that. What do they have in here? A few units. Probably more than they can do it by themselves. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll send a few, few forces down there to help. But this Palmyra force can probably go and take care of Salamis at one point or another. Because I could do with having that back on side. Tarsus should be safe. And then we've got Sinope up here. Now... What are we going to do with these guys? What do we have? Do we have many missiles? We have a few Grecian archers. We could make use of those guys. Spartacus himself, a eh? Oh, yes. Well, I think I should probably do this myself because I think the game will decide to murder all of my Grecian archers and let all of the trash units live. So I will get on with this myself. Down goes Sinope. And um, with this, well, honestly, the east is starting to roll over, isn't it? A few early shots in at the light cav then uh, the Christian archers doing a bit of good work hopefully they'll keep floating around they generally like to do that kind of thing obviously i will hold back a bit of my ammo if i have the opportunity but they'll probably want to come deal with us and predictably they are back at the gate for a few javins in picking up a few of ours actually which is a bit unfortunate um and guys seem to be struggling as ever to throw at them as they're running along, which is a bit annoying, but there we are. Christian archers hopefully will do a little bit of work, but they haven't done anywhere near as much as I would like at this point. We will just um, yeah, send in these guys. So in case they run this side again, we'll just go and trap them in with our spearmen because that seems like a nice and efficient way of murdering them. In come the Cretian arrows then. We're going to send a flurry towards it's the general, in fact. Interesting. Obviously, these eastern generals do have themselves a few javelins. Can make them a bit awkward and dangerous to take on, but uh, no, if we can shoot them down from a distance, we'll be very happy indeed. We've got ourselves a lovely sea-shaped sandwich. Shishef sandwich for the... Uh, for the general over here so hopefully he'll oblige and come and get himself killed very soon indeed feel your hoplites in the rear just to be sure got a few slingers over here you're about to yeah have a merry old time at it as well oh it's all go here it's a lovely lovely day now they are probably going to start getting a few missiles in but frankly the odd hoplite here are there they're pretty dispensable aren't they indeed they are so let's speed this up to see what they want to do. Yeah, they're going to have a bit of a missile affair with us. That very much, uh, that's fine by me for the time being. You know what, these guys might just start moving forward just to see what they want to do. Yeah, they're going to come in, which frankly is going to end very, very badly indeed. Especially when they try and run away through all of these hoplites. Yay, there he goes. <laughs> Didn't take an awful lot to kill him, did it? Missed a few of them with the old uh this particular unit here they didn't do very well to be honest did they no oh well it looks like um looks like he's largely done that's a big barrel of beer they've got over here what do they call this building apparently it's a blacksmith apparently it is but i just suggest really it's just a big barrel of beer or maybe wine let's go with some lovely wine and uh, we are in turkey i do like some turkish wine so uh, i'll get on that anyway uh we'll just keep on playing the trap Oh, they want revenge on that unit over there. <laughs> Galloping in, and uh, they might well do a bit of damage, but yeah, they're, they're gone once again. The general just keeps on running away. We can't seem to kill him. He is a true Mithridates, it seems, but um, no, I think we need to start shooting in at these heavy Pontic cavalry, which I'm sure were light cavalry before, but um, there we are. The, some, some of these little... Uh, Little, uh, what are they called? The cards. The Fema cards. They're, uh, they look a bit similar at times, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, I do think that they've lost some of their distinctiveness that they had on the original. Most of them are still pretty good on this compared to some of the other Total War titles. But I do find a couple of them I get confused with that I never used to. But maybe that's just, uh, you know, best part of 20 years playing this game. But uh, time to finish them off, I think. My help lights have largely done a good job i must say this is a particularly lovely battle map oh there's a battle going on marvelous yes i obviously have to send my men in my um as ever my <laughs> my rodian slingers managed to get themselves killed because i i was slightly foolish anyway squeaky narrator man is pretty happy with that spartacus has been taken out and with that we have ourselves a nice chunk of turkey which is grand now Fiddles are not an effective fire suppressant. No, they are not, although that tip does come up just a little bit too often. I'd like it if that was a, a very unusual one, so it was quite an amusing joke when it came up, but uh, I've seen it so many times already. 
Anyway, Sinope is ours. Another extermination, another bucket of money, and I really think our economy should be um, fairly, fairly good at this point, actually. Yes. So, a big pile of units to get retrained. I will get myself some cav. That would be the worst idea. I'm going to click randomly on this list and get some of my lads fixed up. Now, we do already have a port, amazingly. They actually care to bother with that in this part of the world. I'm going to get myself a mine here and a mine here and just a few places, really, that I've never quite got round to building the mines because now I've got a big chunk of money. I might as well. They're very good investments if you can actually afford them, which not always the case with uh, with the rebels but it is at that point now where i think my money should be pretty solid now as for the rissa that one really could be an interesting battle we'll get to that one in a minute that might well be the main affair here today um as of this part of the world honestly i'm probably better off focusing on something else what can we get over here well we're not romans so there's no point of really focusing too much on the on the barracks and there we are Syracuse is writing once again I find this a little bit um I don't know it's it's an interesting little symbol I always felt like um I suppose it's fairly obvious it's quite useful when you're the rebels so let's let's be happy enough with it Carthage is back under control I've got no one in Thapsus which probably wasn't the most sensible plan in the world because I have no men to uh garrison it it's fine um We'll, we'll worry about Carthage for now. Let's just really make sure we've got ourselves a load of long shield cav. We'll smash up one army. We'll smash into the rest. They're pretty much, as far as I recall, just... Um, ah, we all their agents, not ours. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty much, as far as I can remember, these were just javelin men, but I might be mistaken. And I must remember the Scipione do have themselves Sardinia, even if they never took over Sicily, the silly little numpties. Anyway, this ultra result seems to have killed my hoplites, which is a bit of a shame. It would be a bad thing, I guess, to actually um, to build the next level of barracks there. But I won't worry about that too much for the time being. What I could do is see if I can take these guys on. Do I want to do that? I'm not convinced I do, you know. They have, uh, yeah, I was Brutus and Titus Brutus themselves. A few infantry. Honestly... This could absolutely melt our forces, but we do have so many men. I reckon we should just be able to drown them in bodies. Let's give it a go. We haven't had too many battles in the open field recently. A lot of city uh, city sieges. So let's get into battle. Let's try and take them out. This is a pretty straightforward battlefield. Completely flat and open plain. I say completely flat. We've got maybe the slightest advantage. But we are in the snow. We should help us out for the old battle we're ahead here. Now, realistically, we could have a lot of problems, but I think we'll be fine as long as we don't do anything too stupid. Let's keep one of our men together as much as possible, and I think we'll be fine. Although I wouldn't mind using my general over here, my four cav units, or, well, sort of four, to take out uh, this general over here on this flank. Now, if we can pull him out of the battle nice and early, I'll feel uh, a lot happier about taking on all of the infantry. So let's go and do that. Getting a little bit too close to their main general now. This unit has floated around here. But to be honest, if that means to pull them out of position, that's fine by me. We're moving the rest of the army forward. They are well out of position at this point, And we're doing a little dance on the flank here. You know what? That kind of suits me, to be honest. Um, they are sending their villagers forward. Okay, at this point then... I think we're going to try... Ooh, what do we want to do? We're just going to keep these villagers out of the battle here. I'm going to send my cavs swinging around the front. The rest of our units are marching right up to their line. These guys are... Oh, they're going to do something now. All right, they are now moving. General's coming out to us. That's why I don't mind taking him on with all of my cav. Although I would mind not getting charged. We're about to get... All right, we're about to get charged. Um, What can we do about all of this? You, sir... Do your little war cry and you pile in and try and help us out. That's not the engagement I wanted over there. Okay, um, all war bands, just war cry. You need to get in there now. Our generals are... There he's gone. He's gone. We won that battle. That's good. We had a lot of uh, potential losses there. These guys got intercepted. The interceptors got intercepted. That's a bit of a shame. 
but then we'll just have the pile bodies on top. Um, infantry on infantry on infantry. I don't really know what's going on over here. Let's just use Equitas. <laughs> um, you throw into them. Now, Warband should be okay. They're just Astarte. Astarte should go down fairly simply to Mr. Hoplites, to be honest, as long as we're facing them nice and front on. Uh, Cav is... Well, we've killed them quite early, but we're probably still somewhat struggling. Okay, that's fine. We're on top of them. Cav, you get out of there. You come and hit that general. You go over there. This general can just keep on charging at him to make sure that unit doesn't come back in battle. He's now gone. That's what we want to see. Hastati face on them. They face on them. and We are clearing them out. They're running away. They are running away, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're largely okay. It's a bit chaotic. That's kind of what we want as barbarians. We want the chaos. Bring the chaos. Bring the death. And with that, we might as well start uh, charging into the flanks. Yeah, we've got them. We've absolutely got them at this point. Uh, a few losses there at the start. Probably lost quite a lot of men, I imagine, because the peasants did get themselves a little bit caught up in that old battle. That Roman general's getting away. I wasn't supposed to let him get away, but oh well, what can you do, eh? What can you do? Most of these lot are now broken. I'm not really sure why we haven't won the battle. There must be the odd man here or there, but we've got 13 to turn around and mop them up, and we've got the rest of the cavalry up forward to go and deal with that. We, we didn't lose any of our generals. That's good. These two guys are still alive. I wasn't sure if they actually were. doesn't always tell you. Um, I find on this, or I don't always notice the uh, the message quite like I used to. And there is officially a victory. Let's mop them all up, and that's that's a good little victory for us. There, we lost a few men. But honestly, I'm pretty pleased with that result. If you want to see a little breakdown, then it's actually only 243 kills for them, so a very decisive victory. A few units got themselves wiped out somewhat and lost experience, but. On the whole, we're doing all right. One well, warband had a few javelins in, but uh, the army, by and large, is in a very good position indeed. Where is he going to flee to? Probably Patavium. Indeed, he's off in that direction. We've uh, we've run our movement points. We are still waiting on this army, by the way. We don't have four turns. I'm not too concerned. I suspect they're going to come in with rams before too long. But if they don't, we've got this force to come and uh, tidy it all up. Now what I probably need to do, probably need to start sending some trash. Yeah, some of this trash over here. These peasants. Now, I'll be honest, as much as I like the numbers, it would be good for a few of you to help out suggest that we can then retrain some better units um, and a port wouldn't go amiss either. Lovely stuff. Yes, we've got plenty of money to waste and all sorts of nonsense around the empire much looking forward to that okay i'm gonna have a little look around the map make sure there's nothing else vital we need to do there's probably some sensible bits of investment i've already got ports in a number of these towns coming in anyway so it might well be that uh, i still have a bit of money left in the kitty but i do have some uh, some generals who could potentially spend a bit of money if i can find the mercs oh can i find the mercs Indeed, I can. I'm going to spend most of my money on that, which is yeah, probably a terrible investment, but at least it stops the enemy having them. And for me, that's probably more important. So there's a spy coming up in this direction. No need to worry about that. Plenty of men here. Let's just get a couple spies in before we start heading forward. We'll let Nicomedia grow a little bit. And I'll just start mopping up these armies over here. Maybe we'll head to Teresa. I'll have to get back and work out what I'm going to do with all that. Another end turn then, and the Bruti are going to head into Araminum. I reckon without a general, they won't have too much joy out of this. A few units have started, a few Velites, some more dogs, Equites. Nothing to elite, so I suspect of all our hoplites, we should be A-OK. -okay. Just a few javelins to worry about. Let's head in. It's well worth bearing in mind that we have a huge amount of holes in these walls. It's probably what these Equites are running towards at this point. Indeed, I suspect they are. So we'll send our general over to this side. I've got a couple of peasants, but they're probably not doing an awful lot. Let's just get them over there in case the Equites are trying to run in that gate. I do have some hoplites over here, but um, obviously they've decided to take the easier route. For some reason, they're not walking through. They're just standing um, with all these guys. 
it might be a simple case of uh, heading back towards the plaza, to be honest, because if you're not going to walk through my uh, spiky little entrance gate here, then I guess it's probably best, yeah, if I retreat into the centre. Too many holes to defend, if I'm honest. So we'll leave those two for the time being. But yes, I think the rest of these chaps might as well get moving back to the plaza. We'll just move them back over here, uh, along with uh, Hestati. Uh, javelin men they can all come back here as well that will be marvelous and somewhere some javelin cap no idea where they've ended up blow the horn of destiny and peasants hold the gates uh, they're not they're not really holding the gate are they oh well the generals on top of them as well so that'll be absolutely fine as for the rest of this yeah indeed they are gradually coming in this direction so what i probably need to do um, probably should be using those peasants to eat up the Japanese actually, shouldn't I? Probably should, but I'll, you know, I'll bring all my men back at this point and uh, we'll just start blocking up around here. Amazingly, the peasants have actually won at the gate. It was probably mainly the general who did the job, but uh, you know, I'm happy enough with the outcome, so I won't really argue with it. We'll get the general back over here and uh, maybe those dogs can deal with... Uh, sorry, not the dogs, maybe the peasants can deal with the dogs. That's what I meant, yes. Um, what we've got here, we've got the Javelin Calf who could probably throw the odd missile if they get the opportunity. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, actually. Can we go and mop someone up? We probably could have got to mop people up, but they do have some more equities out there. So without a big pile of Cav, it's probably best that we stay where we are. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Oh no, the dogs of war have defeated our darn peasants. Hardly surprising if I'm honest, but um, not particularly ideal either. Okay, where are my lovely, lovely spearmen? Spearmen, get yourselves over here. You're something, you're better to... Yeah, you guys, run over here. Come and guard this particular entrance. Mr. Hopper is doing a terrible job of beating up the old dogs, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how they failed that badly, but they truly, utterly have failed. The peasants are still being eaten by the dogs. Not sure how they managed that either. And these guys are not throwing the javelins in. That's probably for the best to be honest. Let's get ourselves set. As they approach the plaza, then it's time to send in our cav. These villagers are the first ones to arrive. And I really don't want them to throw their javelins in, so we'll just give them a quick poke. Hopefully clear them out. If nothing else, we're going to keep them distracted for a moment so they won't get their javelins in. Pull out there, lads. That's absolutely fine. They're coming this way. You were supposed to do with the dogs. They did that badly, so I'm not sure they're going to do too well against the villagers. But they might well win. They're in a phalanx. They really should, but... uh. You never know with militia hoplites, do you? You never really know. So they're going to throw some javelins in. Not really what I want to see, but you know what? A couple of javelins isn't really the end of the world. Those cav have been continuously sawn off. Sawn off? Seen off? Sawn, shawn, sawn. They're gone anyway. That's the main thing. Anyhow, I'm pretty certain we know how the rest of this is going to go. Aside from a few javelins causing us a bit of damage, I'm pretty certain that we are going to slaughter them at this point. So, yep, down go the first unit of Astarte. The Veditez are continuing to cause problems, as well they probably would. Let's just charge them down now because, yeah, they're going. They are going. Keep charging them. Get on top of those Astarte as well. That'd be absolutely marvellous. That unit didn't hold forever. But they did manage to take care of one unit. Oh, what happened? Why are you over there? Oh, that's because they routed. Yes, of course, Thomas, that's what you were just discussing. Anyway, we've largely done the job at this point. These guys are over here. These uh, Hastati might as well throw their javelins in at this point. We'll just keep them in position for a moment or two. Nothing coming in the flank. No, just the same charge. The same cavalry who instantly routes every time. And they're already routing, which is rather marvellous. So with them dealt with, no problems over here. Um, these guys are finally gone. That's a shame, but uh, I think we'll be fine. They're starting you put yourselves back because I can't actually retrain you. And I'd rather you don't get yourself killed, to be honest. We'll get these guys mopped up, and this is pretty much the end of it at this point. Javelin's coming in. One more unit of Starty. There's one unit of Equites just chasing on into the city. They won't last very long once they've reached the plaza, so I'm not too worried about that. Can we just mop up those guys, though, because they're starting to annoy me. And these 22 might as well go over there. But to be honest, this is entirely done now. Last unit, then, are coming in. I've got these hoplites just about reorganised on the corner here. We're sending these cav just to close the trap, but they should just be running into a phalanx. Yep, gallop over all you want. You really shouldn't. I mean, they still shouldn't be doing that much damage to me, should they? They killed 12 of them there. Maybe one or two was actually my... Uh, 
my javelins. But frankly, I'm still a little bit unimpressed at hoplites on this. Um, it's more the cavalry charges on them. They maybe should be the brutal murder machines they were in the original, but they certainly shouldn't be um, yeah, smashed by cavalry like that. Get around the side of them. Yeah, by all means, die, but uh, no, not in that circumstance. Right, let's finish this up then. A uh, couple units chasing around here or there. These guys are chasing these chaps out of the city. Yeah, just finish them up. And there's just one or two units floating around, but they will go down pretty soon. With our aluminium safe, then it's time to push on north. And indeed, Batavium is now under siege. I'm not certain that we can necessarily win this if we charge on in. Uh, we have numbers, but not a lot else. We'll just uh, siege those guys out over time. I'm honestly not too worried about losing Mediolanum. The ghouls really aren't uh, who I'm worried about at this point in time. A few reinforcements on their way to suggest it, though. And I've also uh, released a few of my peasant units just to bolster up the numbers in the town will at least give me a chance to recruit an extra unit here or there if that's what I want to do, which is probably probably for the best, to be honest. So we'll get some more hoplites over there, and we'll probably just need to do a little bit of retraining in this part of the world. Wouldn't mind another hoplite, to be honest. More and more proper infantry would be a good idea. Now, uh, did I want to repair these walls? I kind of like it when they come in and all get themselves brutally murdered on the plaza. But to be honest, I think a wall wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll get a port as well. There's a port over in uh, several of these towns now, which is looking an awful lot better for our economy. Dicodonia has just built its governor's building, so that can do it as well. Oh yes, as you can see our money is now consistently running up even though I'm spending it all each turn. As for the rest of it, four turns here, I could go in there, I'm not sure I necessarily want to take the losses. They do have some arches, a little bit wary of losing my, uh, especially if I've got the Amazonian women, um, I don't really want to lose those in a bit of an archer battle, that would be a little bit silly I think. So what I will do though, I quite fancy now we've got ourselves a few more uh, mercs to go and send a spy just to make sure we know what's going on with these Thracian chaps. So, nothing really doing actually. I reckon we can start sending our army from Byzantium ever onwards actually. So, you guys head up north. Dentipes, marvellous. Don't know what they've got, a few flouxmen, but we've got plenty to deal with all of that now. But to be honest, I would rather change it up to Hoplite. We're not Greek anymore like we were originally sadly so uh, no more hoplites that's only for the Greeks not for the Macedonians yeah I'm certain this guy wasn't a general before but he seems to have popped out of nowhere in spite of the fact they haven't won a battle against me but maybe he was there maybe I'm just misremembering either way uh, yeah we're just about done mopping up these armies but they just seem to keep sending the odd man here or there you know what actually we will go back to the spy because I could deal with my spy, one or two spies actually over in this part of the world, just to make sure I know what's happening with all of this. Now, as for Mazaka, oh yeah, there's not a lot here. There is not a lot here whatsoever. Just the faction leader, Heracles himself, and uh, nothing much else. Now, um, good old Heracles here. What do we know about you? He's actually got pretty good stats, but I don't know an awful lot. Either way, probably best to move on from uh, good old Sinope here in the north. Now, what do I want to leave behind? Possibly just leave those cav. Um, they used to be the general. It's kind of nice having them, but I've got some Greek cav now. So we will march on forwards towards their capital and uh, cause them some more problems, I think, in time. Get ourselves a couple of units of infantry over there. That's looking fine. Tarsis will be A-OK -okay if they decide to attack. There's not a lot they can do. They... That looks very small. That's a very depleted army. I feel like they've already lost a battle or two. But I suspect they'll win if they come in to attack us. Because we haven't got very much at all. Oh well. Uh, let's go and perhaps... Re, uh, yeah, just restock that particular area of the world. We need a few more troops. As you can see, the Egyptians are besieging uh, Jerusalem once more. No general in the two armies, which is probably for the best. We've got plenty of infantry to hold, but um, not as many archers as I'd like, actually. Should probably start uh, sharing out the forces between these two forces. Or maybe try and get some more archers, but that depends on which cultures I've got control of. This army really should have gone to go and deal with the people in Cilicia, so we will leave the peasants behind. 
noise used those a bit of a weird graphical glitch i noticed this yesterday actually or uh, i say yesterday on the early part of the episode which was recorded yesterday um just sharing all of the secrets now we do have assassins though we do have assassins oh you know what a couple spies spy and assassin wouldn't be a terrible idea um we haven't actually managed to kill a faction and gain their units yet which is a bit of a shame we've um yeah we we might be able to do it with pontus here actually what do they have Enkira and Mazaka, i guess so if we can take Enkira as well yeah that's what this army needs to be doing we're going to take those guys out in a few turns i guess over here can we just get archers or we just left some there no we just left some there that's a shame we we do need to get over here as well perhaps i can just trickle some forces in this part of the world around a side on you it really should have gone the other way but you know what it's fine you wander up here go have a little look see at that army just make sure we've got eyes on that part of the world goes down the bridge you're pretty much just a scouting force and as for you yeah go wander up towards our sack here at least it gives us a bit of view of the very pixely mountain here today i'm not quite sure what's gone wrong with my graphics but uh might need to check the settings maybe they've uh being reset or something silly like that yeah it's definitely playing up a little bit today isn't it oh well so Bostra as we know is probably a bit strong for us at the moment but we do have plenty of forces on our way to deal with them so let's go and grab a couple horse archers you can go and deal with these chaps over here that'll be fine a few small battles to take care of then with the army outside Pergamon dealt with them, we've also sent our armies moving up towards Hatra. Obviously, those horse marches slaughtered that random unit of hoplites. Larissa, I'm just going to keep ticking over for a bit longer, but more importantly, we have Tarentum over here, and indeed, Vibius Brutus wants to take us on. Now, there is a main army here, or the first army of Ballistas, Vitellos, Hastati, and more Vitellos. Um, but Vibius Brutus, what about you? Are you particularly interested in general? I don't know an awful lot about you, but what I do know... Um, wildly extravagant, very nice. Yeah, he's got all sorts of odd traits. He's been sitting there in the city for too long, not doing enough. But that's a bit of a shame, because he's got some very nice traits here indeed, which could be fantastic if he wasn't sitting around in the city. Shame for him. Some bad bit of a uh, character building from the AI. Bit of a shame. We'll have to kill him anyway, so let's not worry too much about that. So we've got ourselves uh, some war dogs to worry about. But other than that, we should be absolutely fine. A fairly straightforward affair. We'll take up these guys and then uh, we'll see what the reinforcements do. They might well flee, but we've got three units of Christian archers, so we've got the range as soon as we deal with the ballista. Let's get into battle. Interestingly, they've spawned in right next to a little puddle here, which is uh, going to cause them a little bit of issues in terms of setting up, which is probably ideal for me. So let's get the rest of these guys all set up. We'll get ourselves sitting over here. Looks like a bit of a ridge over there. So as we send our cavalry galloping forward to go deal with the ballista, hopefully the, uh, yeah, the rest of the forces shouldn't get too close to us. What are they doing? That's some Vitellas... Yeah, we'll just send them round the flank. They're a little better on this than at a guard in this kind of situation. But uh, not especially good, I would suspect, because we are about to bounce on them. There's going to be a few javelins coming in, but uh, if we're close enough, we might just be able to push them away. General, if you can just pull him to there, yeah, that's going to cause us some problems. They've hit us with a little javelin there. Pull it out. Oh, my cavalry are routing. General isn't really doing the job I want him to either. Can you get out of there, please? Anyway, the ballista aren't dead, and we are not running away quite... Anytime you want to run, I keep on double-clicking. Anytime. That'd be great. Both the Hall of Destiny, try and get these guys to come back. Are they over the line? They're over the line. Well done, Mr. Great Cav. Prove themselves even worse than any of us even remember. So, with that, we've already <laughs> failed. Um to achieve the objective, which is to simply to charge down a few ballista. And I got a few javelins, but seriously, that was pathetic, lads. Anyway, uh, into these ballista anytime you want, lads. As long as we've got these uh, dealt with, I'll be happy to send my general back to safety. And, okay, yeah, but he's in trouble now. <laughs> he's starting to get himself into a lot of trouble. Down to 14. There's a few javelins about to come flying in at him. He should probably get out of there. 
Like, now, now, now. I mean, the thing is, I've changed this back to the original controls, but because I was complaining, obviously, that I was the, uh, the walking and the running thing. But it just doesn't work like it used to. It's just not working correctly. So you're going to go over there, and he's not going to... He's not going to listen. He's going to get himself killed. Run, run, run. Ugh! Damn and blast. These guys seem to be stuck at the water's edge, which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, I'm in big trouble here because I can't tell him to run properly. Anyhow, at the very least, this has pulled everyone into the actual infantry trap. I hope the Roman general will just run straight into the spears. I'm actually going to turn my javelins off off this actually i have a few of you don't i yeah you guys don't really worry about any of this nonsense just let them run in and get themselves killed in fact archers also mm, we'll just let them stand there for a moment because actually if they are just gonna stand there then that is a good time for our javelins to get going so uh yeah you know what all of you start throwing in because the general doesn't want to run in front of some spears which um is probably rather sensible anyhow with him hopefully gone I don't really mind what happens in the city, but it's just a lot easier once the general's down. Lots of javelins going in. Hoplites can start moving forward. And not only these are three different types of hop of um, of javelins, just to make life awkward. Those are Cretians. Thank you very much, Mr. Cretians. And with that, we'll be fine. Get the Cretians to shoot him down. Shoot him down. Uh, my general's quite badly hurt, but he's still alive, which is the main thing. I probably gave some bravery. There we go, we shot him down, that's the main thing. The rest of this battle, hopefully, will be okay from this point onwards. It wasn't really ideal at the start, but there we are. We should learn our lesson. Greek cavalry are, of course, terrible. At this point, we are pretty much into a full-on battle. It's a bit of a dark morning, if I'm honest. Mornings do tend to be a little bit on the dark side. Are they just withdrawing? Indeed they are. They are complete cowards. There's not a lot I can do to chase them down because my general's going to get himself killed. But uh, we can always try, I suppose. Let's get rid of these ballistas. They're a little bit irritating, aren't they? Don't want to deal with those inside the city. They are running away. Let's get on top of them. Let's just see if we can get rid of anything. The rest of the army retreats into Tarentum, as you might expect. And we can now put it under siege. We do have a spy inside. He's obviously failed to open the gates. Um, what have they got then? Lots of Atelis, which is a bit awkward when you take on walls and to a starty. Okay, but they're not going to stand on walls. There are no proper stone walls here, so that's okay. Um, we'll take a few... Well, we might take a few losses. We've got three Secretion Arches, so we we could be okay. We'll see about that. What we do know is we don't need any more Greek cap. <laughs> We've got 40 of them left. I suppose that's sufficient, I guess. Yeah, they are literally only good, aren't they, for chasing things down, and that is it. Any actual battle, they are completely useless. Right, it's just about time to end our turn. I'll just check if there's anything else to mop up. But we're pretty much done for the day. We'll see if anything interesting happens on the end turn just to set us up for next time. Oddly shocking, but of course Mediolanum's going to go down, isn't it? Did we just kill zero? I think we did. That's probably pretty fair, to be honest. We also lost uh, Dimity because I kind of completely forgot that uh, that was going to get sieged out eventually. As for this, this is a bit of a strange one on the bridge. Go on. Well, there's not a lot we can do in this battle other than just charge in. We've got the Druids at the front. The Warband are charging in. We've got our Warcry on now. We're going to get a charge bonus as well. We're going to try and get a flanking bonus. And obviously things are all going to box up weirdly because that's what bridge battles do. And hopefully morale bonus will give us a bit of assistance. They're wavering. They're shaken. Um, sadly, not going to quite do the job, but... Maybe the druids will help turn this battle just a little bit. Keep pushing, peasants. Speed it up. Down goes their general, and now we're going to flank with the druids. Hack away. And there we are. I think we might just have a good chance of holding the bridge. Indeed, we do. Well done, my peasants. You held well. And indeed, now the battle is ours. The druids turned the tide, and no one died there either. Well done, my good sirs. Well, with that little affair done with, then uh, we are now going to get completely massacred the second time around. Bit of a shame, really, but we'll give it a second go. Very much the same tactics again. Then we've got the war cry, we've got the charge, we've got ourselves the druids, and we're going to make the most of this situation with any luck. Come on, get yourselves in the side, that's the whole point. 
there's only so much we can do to be honest i mean we uh we're not even really getting them wavering on this occasion let's get the druids in over on the side here come on get yourselves over there maybe there's a chance but i very much doubt it get yourselves in lads do yourselves proud and uh with that we are just about defeated but we've hacked down a fair few of them oh the enemy general's gone well done my druid friends they're fighting not quite to the last but they they did a good bit of work there well done stop saying shame oh he, he's back he's back yay sorry for the terrible camera angle i wasn't expecting that battle to still be going on anyway no romans died this day but will you stop narrating man yes some ghouls died on this day so it is a it's a good day and to finish off the day with another pointless little affair then let's head into condade radonum which we'll never be to hold but it's one less town for the ghouls, so let's go and take these guys on. Once again, time to utilise the war cry and indeed utilise the charge. So in we go. These guys are going to get absolutely murdered, I suspect. We've got the tribbits again. So yes, indeed, that has worked very, very nicely in our favour. Get their cavalry out. That will be marvellous. The war cry is still active, which is a bit unfortunate. But uh, that's uh, not the end of the world, I suppose. Some of them charging at the general, some of them charging over there. I suspect this won't last very long. I'll probably better off actually dealing with these guys over in the rear. And um, you know what? Let's just charge into these. We can chase them into the city. And there's the victory. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. No, no. We're going to ride them down. These are ghouls. We, we, must, we must take them all out to the very last. And with that, at least we get some revenge for the great battle of the bridge there. But... Um, don't even worry about chasing these guys. I think we're pretty much done. Well, with some roads built in Pergamum, then we are now ready to start sending this army off at a decent enough pace. We will probably have to take care of these guys in the meantime, but I might just be able to have that covered, actually. So that is marvellous. As for the Frisians, well, the general, for some reasons, wandered around here. He thinks I couldn't spot him, but I did as he hid in those trees there. We will... Uh, Probably just make sure that we get a few extra units in here just to be safe. But I think on the whole, yeah, we're pretty much where we want to be. With all of this, we've got ourselves a lovely spy to wander towards Ankyra. There we go. So there's a general over there. That's the general I murdered last time, but he got away. He ran all the way, by the way, from the port of Bergam over to here because the game is ridiculous like that right next time then next time what are we going to be up to well first of all of course Mazaka is going to be put under siege that will be taken very soon Tarsus I'm a bit concerned that they haven't attacked yet to be honest we'll have to sally forth there that's not the ideal situation but uh oh well let's start marching towards Hatra as well no big surprise army there's a few extra troops but nothing too surprising, I suppose. We'll wander off our uh, peasants over here just to keep an eye on the on the general lay of the land and the area. These guys should be fine even with a general. There's plenty of troops to uh, cause, well, a big pile of damage if that's what we need to do. Egyptians haven't headed in, so just got to keep a little eye on that. These extra troops over here, they, uh, well, I'm not quite sure. They probably need to float down to Bostra, to be honest. That is very much what I'd like them to do. They can join up with much of this force. There are a few peasants here. You need to, uh, yeah, maybe join these two armies together next time and deal with this. Then we'll have a second force to go and deal with the Egyptians, depending on how many survive that old battle there. As for uh, these chaps, well, to be honest, I probably won't need to show you this battle, but uh, as you can probably imagine, I'm going to win these are these weren't all here before were they no these are new hello my new friends you're now into our army well placed well timed i like it my good sir so we have our assassins coming out of here could do with some cavalry actually so would that get us some some uh, horse archers it probably will i imagine it will because over here we certainly get some horse archers we have to retrain those once we've dealt with that little incursion. And indeed, oh, maybe at the wrong time to wander away from Petra. She probably should have seen that before. But um, we'll see what they do at the end turn. It gives us time to head back round if we need to. You can go stand on that hill. We've lost sight of him, but should give us better range 
for that particular area of the world. As for the rest of it, well, it's pretty much as you were. We're looking fe fairly strong over here. Lots of generals popping out, which is good. And I just need to decide where I'm going to send them because, yeah, there's a few areas that I need to reinforce. So these boats should probably come over to Athens and next turn, next time even, we'll have a little think about where we're going to send them. The Senate is looking scattered, um, a bit strange, but uh, of course we do have Tarentum to smash down, we have Batavium to smash down, and indeed it looks like we managed to hold off the Roman counterattack in northern Italy, which is very, very good news indeed. We do have a kind of adoption that I missed, so uh, I was too late, that's annoying, to do that right at the start of the... Uh, the turn or it all goes wrong like it did there oh well well in the meantime then at the very least i can see no there's nothing i can do over here sadly it's not a bad little force but i have um and that is my merchant dam i was hoping that was a merchant i could gain maybe i could have a little look at lemon town down here can't see too much there's not a lot in there though we can continue to cause them problems i'm not sure we will have to see about all of that um, one of the main things to notice you might have seen on the map is that uh, Dimity is falling because I forgot to actually assist in that whole um, issue. That was somewhat my mistake. Yes, I can uh, maybe admit to that one. Not the most devastating mistake, to be honest. He can walk up north and I'll immediately just besiege the town again. Um, so that's probably what I'll do. In fact, I'll just do that right now, to be honest. That suits me. So... Um, Carthage under siege, that's really the main other thing to note at this point in time, but uh, by and large I'm pretty happy with uh, how things are going right now. We look like we're very close to uh, yeah finishing off the Brutii threat, we've got to take on Suggestica as well, but yes, they look like they're getting defeated as well. Just leaves us with Scipione and of course Rome herself. The rest of the map is very much looking like it's pretty well under our control I would say so uh, join me next time for that but for now I will leave you on Thomas is the nurse human and this has been a Romy Mastered Rebels campaign thank you and goodbye they are just throwing themselves to their deaths woohoo chunky 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 death oh that wasn't a very good charge oh <laughs> we're flying there is no one near beside him yeah axe in the head Axe in the head, yeah, beautiful.